Let's talk about the elephant in the room. What is up guys? Welcome back to Hobby Bolt. My name is Skylar and it is Mobile Suit Miss Day 9. I got prompted to make this video because this morning, right before work, I was checking all of my comments, socials, and everything, and I received a bunch of messages <laughs> from people uh, confused or borderline angry about the fact that I'm talking about building a kit and unassembling the kit uh, and then painting it. I want to talk about that today and I want to explain a little bit more about why it is that I do that and hopefully clear some of the air. Now I am no stranger to people questioning how I do things. I do things a little bit differently and it's just, it comes with the territory, it comes with the criticism. I created a Gunflow YouTube channel, I knew for a fact. <laughs> that I was going to end up getting a, a, a barrage of, of opinions, which welcomed, but sometimes it's just little overwhelming, <laughs> little overwhelming. I'm just gonna explain to you why it is I build my kit and then I paint it. Alternatively so, the biggest thing is a lot of people were like, I would skip that, I would just paint it on the runners, I would just paint it as I build it. Totally get it, you do you dude. It is a hobby, you can do everything that you need to do the way that you wanna do it. There is no right way. So let me just explain mine. First thing, the biggest thing, is that this hobby I do for stress relief, for fun, for the creativity, for the artistry, for a number of reasons. When it comes to this hobby, I want to draw it out as long as I possibly can for every single kit. I want to appreciate every single kit as well as I can, as much as I can. I put so much thought into what kits I pick. I don't just selectively choose kits. I choose them for particular reasons. So if you see a kit in my collection, there is a well thought out reason for as to why I have it, unless somebody actually bought me one and it's just because they knew that I would like it. I like to build my kit to just enjoy the building prospect of it. Then what they will do is they'll usually sit on a shelf or they'll be somewhere where I can appreciate them and enjoy them and think about what color palette I wanna put on them, get some ideas for them, know exactly how they get put together and just ruminate on it. I understand that can be a foreign concept for some people, so let me further explain. Uh, I enjoy Gundam kits, I enjoy the way that they look and they make me happy. So what I'll do is I will build it first and foremost to be able to enjoy it for a bit with no decals, no paint, nothing. I just want to appreciate the kit. Alternatively so, if I know I'm gonna paint a kit, I'm still gonna build it. I still wanna do the build, I still wanna know what I'm getting myself into, and I still wanna know exactly how every single piece comes together. After that, I want to make sure that fitment is good, there's no issues with any kind of panel line, I wanna make sure all nub marks are gone, I want to individually take the time to make sure that each piece is as perfect, put together or unassembled as it possibly can be to make the best possible paint. Then after I make sure everything is good, I might do something like customization, I might do scribing, I might do plot plate, any number of modifications, and that would require, in my opinion, to take the take the kit apart, but it has to be together so that you can see how your modification would look in the first place. So you put it together, you modify it the way you want to, and you're gonna be constantly taking it apart, putting it together, taking it apart, putting it together. That process in itself is something that I enjoy doing, so that's another reason. Also, to add to it, you guys have to remember that I am a Gunpla channel with the intent to help new builders and to further appreciate the hobby for, for experienced builders as well. So, for every new builder, the prospect of painting something or even building a kit, I've heard of people who are afraid to even build kits because some of you guys are so hypercritical that they think they can't build. The battery died at just the right point, you're gonna get spicy, Skylar. <laughs> My, what I was trying to say is that there's a lot of hypercritical people in the hobby and it doesn't matter how long you've been doing it. I, every single day, get people who are like re-explaining very basic concepts just because they don't like or they don't understand the way that I do something. So they feel like that means I don't know anything, so therefore they have to tell me. Now, I will gladly accept and listen to what 
whatever anyone has to say because if you're trying to be helpful whether it's from a mean intent or you're just trying to be helpful I will gladly listen because why not I could I could learn something I could learn something even if I don't like it in the future a lot of beginners will probably be coming to the channel and I just wanted to lay a very solid framework that's not overwhelming to new builders. Painting, most people don't know where to even start when it comes to painting. So while you may not think that it's conducive to, to painting the most efficient way, I feel like my way is one of the best ways to make sure that they have a framework on how they can actually paint. Digest all of the steps in painting puts them into boop, 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 boop. I'm just laying down the framework for the basic foundation on how to paint a kit for a beginner or even somebody who just doesn't have a process. This will give them a solid framework and then they can decide from there how they want to approach it, what they want to do, but you got to take the first step. You guys can't just boop. You can, hold on. I'm one of the, <laughs> I'm one of those <laughs> people that's like, no, if you want to take the jump, take the jump, but when it comes to trying to learn something, you gotta know the bare basics, right? So if you guys are just saying, no, you can paint it on the runner. No, you can paint while you're building. It's overwhelming. Most of these people uh, have never built a kit before and they're overwhelmed by even putting a kit together and gluing it together or modifying it or cutting it or getting the nub marks off. And you just have to realize that if they really wanna paint, which a lot of people who get into model making, they wanna paint. You got to give them a, a, a safe baseline foundation so that they can begin to comprehend all of the steps of the process because it can be overwhelming. And that is my biggest reason for why that video had those steps that way. Also, alternatively so, uh, it's just my process. It's my process and that's how I do it. And odds are if you are here, you are interested in how I do things or you're just curious or whatever or you just want to see what another builder is doing. And so you can't change my process. It's my process. Everyone's process is going to be entirely different. Uh, some people are going to do things that other people wouldn't even imagine doing. Some people will think it's redundant if you do things a certain way. Do not let that discourage you from doing things the way that you enjoy this hobby the most. Could you imagine if you listened to every single person who had a different idea of how to do the hobby and you're sitting here at your desk and you're like, oh no, I can't do that. That person really didn't like that. Oh no, I can't do that. I have to do it this way. You're putting constraints on yourself and when you put constraints on yourself, you can't enjoy something as much as you would. Yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you for coming to my TED Talks. <laughs> if you guys have any questions about painting or my process or anything like that, just leave them in the comment section below or if you wanna privately do it, DM me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. Today has been Mobile Suit Miss Day 9, and tomorrow is going to be Mobile Suit Miss Day 10. I got something that's really cool that I can't wait to share. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. So we got into this hobby to be builders. So since when is it not a thing to want to build? Because building requires building, unassembling, improving, doing all these different kinds of things. And I'm just, I'm just not a one and done type person. I am a tiny details person and being able to build these once, look at them as I built them, and then look at them further after unassembling them, knowing how they get put together, I am able to visualize what it is I want to do, what my attack plan is. And that's what my biggest thing is. The whole process is just an enjoyment for me. It is cathartic. It is my hobby. It is what I am passionate about. So therefore I care about it. And I think that people misconstrue my care for, um, not knowing what I'm doing, but it's not, uh, I just care. And I really care about my art because I consider this art. I believe this is art. It's enjoyable. You get so many facets of amazing parts of this hobby. The, the painting, the customizing, the building, the, the anime, the community, the friendship, all of it, everything. And 
That's why I do things the way that I do them. Creativity has no bounds. That creativity should not be constrained by how someone else would do something that it is all you. You think Picasso had someone being like, oh, I really don't like that. And then he was like, oh, you know what? That guy's right. <laughs> do things the way that you wanna do it.